this morning I'm talking with the rector of Exeter College, Francis Cairncross. Exeter College is one of the um, most famous colleges in the University of Oxford to the topic of our today's discussion, which is entrepreneurship. And most of the really successful entrepreneurs that I've met in the past have been people who uh, work on the basis of their gut instinct rather than of uh, profound analysis. If you look around at the people who have founded companies that are large today, one of the things that's striking is that they very often do not have a university education or have rather a, a university education that you know, because the institution that they were at will not have been very profound. Um, because quite a lot of successful businesses nowadays require uh, a, a, a great deal of intellectual skill. I mean, think of pharmaceuticals, for example, and of uh, biotech businesses. You can't be the, uh, the creator of a really successful biotech business unless you really understand the biochemistry. Um, yes, I, I think what I'd like to take up on this, Francis, is a very interesting uh, point that you've made. And I wonder whether universities are doing enough to encourage that kind of interdisciplinarity in the way in which they um, teach, in the way in which they encourage interaction amongst uh, their students and between their faculties. One op set of opportunities for entrepreneurship is finding those interstices between technologies can connect up, as it were, and find a new application for them. Another thing that we have discussed with those who teach entrepreneurship, which I found quite fascinating too, which I think I can take up in relation to particularly the globalization, spread of information rapidly, that could seem to be a depressing uh, aspect of things. That it is a new idea, everybody knows about it very quickly, so unless you get it right at the beginning, you won't have an opportunity. Now, very interestingly, some of those who study um, the formation of businesses and how they grow and so on, so it is actually the later entries that are the most successful. With this kind of interconnectivity of the different forms of communication, um, this is one of the latest of the, it's, it's what a Samsung, isn't it? The, um, I, you know, I, I, I said earlier on that my mobile phone has functionality that I don't even understand. This I can use as a computer, I can go straight onto the internet with it, I can do fantastic photography with it, I can, in fact, I hardly need my computer anymore. And that, that I think has come, hasn't it, from um, bringing together a whole range of technologies, a whole range of forms of communication, and hopefully, hopefully the people who made this, but they're spotting where the market is going. But there's another important point about this. Yes. You, you have described yourself as being a, a, a technology Luddite. Yes. You're not, a, you're not a, a, an early adopter. Of no, technology. that's right. Yes, exactly. People like yes. you, who are the great mass of, of the market, yeah. and particularly people over Mm. 15 years old. Yes. Need very intuitive technology. Indeed so, yes. Mm.